This is good. Oh, I hit the whoops good, too. Oh, and some steez at the end, right to my face, and I got a 53. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Marcus, and we're back here in MX Bikes. It's been a little bit since I've played this game in general, and it's been a while since I've played it on the channel as well. But we've got some exciting news for MX Bikes. The game is now in the Steam store, and it's in early access, so you can buy it on Steam. You don't have to go through the MX Bikes website. You can find it super easy on Steam, and you can buy it right off of there. I'll have that link on my website as well underneath the Games tab. But other than that, really easy to just get into the game now as far as mods go you know you still got to download those I don't have any mods and this is actually the newest update as well this is beta 12 so we're gonna check it out see what the game comes with right out of the box and you can always add more mods to it later as far as the game goes you've got your MX1 your MX2 and supermoto so if you choose supermoto it'll throw those street tires right on the bike so you can run some Supermoto if you want in the game, and there are a few Supermoto tracks, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to go with MX2 because I haven't played the game in a while, and the 450 just might have a little bit too much power for me. This is just the standard bike that comes in the game. It's their own generic bike model, but once again, you can download mods to get those OEM brands. We've got several different bike colors to choose from here. Again, just super basic stuff because this is... Pobosos, which those are the guys that make the game, it's their own stuff. So in this game you've got testing and race mode, it looks like you've got replays as well and best laps. So if you want to just practice by yourself you go into the testing mode and this is where you choose your tracks. Let's see if there are any new tracks in here because I'm not sure if they've added any new ones. It looks like we've got straight rhythm, perfect. Great timing for that. So we'll go, we'll check out straight rhythm. That looks to be the only new one, but you've got a nice a nice track selection here. Once again, there are plenty more tracks that you can download as far as mods go. And I hope this game being in early access now will allow the game to be a bit more popular and get a bit more people in the modding community because I think this game has a really high ceiling that we're really far from getting to. So I think we can see this game become something great if we get the community behind it and start to see people play it more. This is awesome right here. It's even got the elevated start. Let's see uh, if I can get through this. I don't know if I'll be able to. It's doing some like pre-start or something. I don't know what's going on here. Right, the gate's down. <laughs> I'm almost looping it out. Okay, this I think is last year's layout because it seems like it's a little bit different. It's definitely different compared to this year's. I don't know why I'm saying a little bit, because this year's had the doubles right off the start. I'm not getting through it very good. Got a double in there, another double. Oh, endo. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's not good. Let's see if I can just finish it out. I want to get a clean run through here, though. That'll be cool if I can. Just since I haven't played the game too much recently. My skills are slacking. I don't remember which controls I liked either. That was pretty big. I know I'm across the line. I don't know what happened. Oh, I guess it just completed the run for me. Let me try and mess with my settings a little bit. Oh, it disqualified me for crossing the lane. That's really cool. I was wondering what happened there. Oh my god, I spun tires so bad out of the start. I messed with my settings a little bit and now the bike feels way different. That's one thing, you've got to get your settings just right in this game because the controls really matter. And I haven't played it in so long. Yeah, the thing feels just kind of super loose right now. Let's see if I start out in third if I won't spin my back tire so much even though it's weird to start out in third nope still spun the tire but we'll see if this setup helps me actually get through this a little bit better <laughs> I case that pretty good okay I don't want to go across the line I'm going across the line That's not the line right there. 
I'm trying to make it work though. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm so good though. I haven't went across the line yet. My left right lean, or my turning, my bad. My turning is still a little, a little on the touchy side. Got the whoops right here, which I'm about to blow out in, and then the finish, which I'm gonna case. <laughs> it's time to give that another try. All right, I've messed with my settings a little bit more. I'm just trying to find that good setting that I like. And I think I have one, I think I'm getting closer. We'll see. My thing is this line, that's my issue. There's a triple in there somewhere. Dude, straight rhythm's gnarly. If you mess up one section, <laughs> it screws up your whole run. This is my best run so far, though. This one's not going too bad. Ooh, there's a triple right there. I'm on the line. <laughs> this game. This game is like... It's like a combination between an arcade motocross game and a simulator. I would say it leans toward the simulator side, but... Um, <laughs> that counts. That counts as a finished run because the bike made it across the line. But... It definitely leans towards the simulator side, but it's not as hard to pick up and play as a mech simulator. I've got to get off to a good start. That way I can get this first double right here. I had that line every time I'm like so close to it. And then that double right off that first. This game, dude, like you've got to have a good controller set up because if you don't, it gets sketchy. <laughs> there we go. All right, I got that first double. Can I get this? Oh, I cased it a little bit, but not bad. Oh, I can triple right there. I think that's what I was saying earlier. There's a triple. Honestly, not that bad through there. Oh, I'm dead. Try this again. If I can get the double, you know, I'm just gonna take it, take it a little bit easier this time, and just try and get through this thing. Oh, I'm trying to kill myself, aren't I? going pretty good so far and I blew it right there it's on off and then step over not too bad if I can get through the whoops almost lost it there hey I got the finish line that time too and it was just super straight no scrubs nothing like that but I'm so bad at the game that I can't do that stuff yet. I used to be able to do it, but with this straight rhythm, I just kind of want to keep it straight. I want to try and get a much cleaner line through there, though, but I'm glad I completed it. Man, I still case that thing. I could probably triple over that wall. I wonder if that would be any better. get that section good sometimes. This one right here is always a little sketchy for me. A little sketchy that time, but not too bad. You got a double and then this big thing. And then right here you can triple into the rhythm section. Every time I come up short too. I always think that I'm going to give it too much juice and I don't give it enough. I need to try and find a good bike setup because I don't have a good one right now. So if any of you guys have a good bike setup, a good controller setup, 
anything to help me out in this game, definitely let me know down in the comments because I think that is what's going to make the game a lot more fun to play. You've got to have a good setup and not do that. All about getting that first double that'll set you up throughout the rest of this section. I could probably squeeze a triple out if I was better at the game, but unfortunately, I'm not that good at it. Ooh, that was an interesting line. I tripled over the table. I'm in second here. So, yeah, that's good. You want to be in second on the downside of that. <laughs> I still cased it, even though I gave it a little bit of extra. Oh, sketchy, sketchy. The whoops are tough. I'm going across the line right at the end, dude. Doubles clean. Let's see if I can get through here clean. That was pretty clean. I'm in second. Shift up to third. Hit this table to triple over. Case it just a little bit, but not the end of the world, I don't think. Maybe the end of the world because I just butchered that entire section. And blew out in the whoops. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so slow that second half. Alright. This is like number 48 to run. And I'm gonna get it this time. Oh man, I should have went for the triple. Oh well. I'm just going for a clean run. Not the big lines. Oh, almost died right there. Oh, that white line. Oh, there we go. I don't know what to do with this part, though. The on off. And then triple over. Oh, this, this is good. This is good. Oh, I hit the whoops good, too. Oh, and some steez at the end, right to my face, and I got a 53. I got a 53, dude. Completely killed all of my other times. How many attempts was that? I was like, run 48? Yeah, run 48. Oh, it bases it off of, like, how fast you're going. So it was like, oh, you just hit a 53? Here's a 52.8. That's what you need to hit now. So that's pretty cool that... It gives you something to go after. That's awesome. That took way too long, but thank you guys for checking this video out. Hopefully I will continue to progress. Again, if you have any tips, definitely let me know because I need all the tips I can get. Other than that, I'm out of here. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.